Hiya, shot with Mick Miller. Uh, what we're doing today on this lovely sunny August day, it's about 14 degrees and pretty uh, pretty rough actually really, considering two weeks ago it was about 35 degrees. But any road, um, doing a spot of gamekeeping this morning, getting ready for the, the wildfowling season here at the reservoir. And as you can see, it's a case of catching up on things really. This feed has nearly fallen over. So we need to, need to straighten this up and start feeding again. Not gonna to go too mad because the geese and ducks have still got lots of stubble and lots of natural food around. So we'll, we'll set this up later on and Jack could do it in bite-sized pieces, what we're up to today, repairing hides, etc., etc. And hopefully we'll get to, We'll get a chance to do a bit of shooting at the end of the day as well. Um, just so it's not all work and no play. Yeah, so let's get cracking, Jack, shall we? <laughs> right, let's set this feeder up so it comes up a little bit higher to that spins. There's about that much gap across there. Okay, got the duck baffle on this feeder. See that plate? plate there you so when it spins when that spins it hits that plate and it doesn't hit the bank it goes across and obviously feeds feeds where the water is it spreads it out as opposed to spreads it in okay obviously we don't want to feed the top of the bank let's give that a tighten up okay right what Jack's doing is cutting cutting this bush down because I mean we flattened this last year really back to the back to those stumps down there but that's amazing how things grow in a year anyway you right, Jack yep. yeah so obviously cut that so you can actually shoot across the top of your hide yeah yeah on the same level good lad right what we've done now you can see this or not but basically setting the program in all I've done, I've set this for at that eight o'clock in the evening, eight o'clock at night, sorry, for five seconds. Now I've got the rest of the spins on off. Uh, set the time in, and then we'll see how we get on with that. Obviously, later on, as the geese and duck do start coming in, I'll do two spins. Uh, probably one for several seconds and another seven seconds as well because you, know, you get sort of like 100 geese on here they will get through a bit of corn uh, but certainly the way I think the corn is going to be quite expensive this year so uh, I think you've got to be mindful of how much you how much corn you're going to put down really or wheat I say anyway we'll give us a test in a minute right you've got a test button on this which is that one that says test funny enough so you press that press that and it says gives you a 10 second counter yeah you can see that or not so we'll give this a go and see how that spins out Ooh. brilliant yeah. excellent so you can always test it and then you know it's working. You've got rechargeable batteries these days. Much better idea than those ones, the big ones you get on buying from the hard store shop because it costs much, whereas rechargeable seems to be the way forward. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna set this up now and let's get feeding. Boys, get some, get some duck and geese in here. Um, yeah, but these, there's a gamekeeper from Dorset that told me about these spin feeders certainly uh worth thinking of investing i mean i got these from a place called solway feeders and very good service uh you have to put i'll put this around this case around because the amazing what attacks these i.e deer and um uh swans i've had swans attack the feeders as well so i put that protection around there and that seems to work a bit of sheep wire and uh and yeah see jack now has done that hide if i can zoom in he's done that hide now you see so shoot across from there he's a good lad he's done well there 
yeah, so it's got repair, repair the hides as well. We've got your tube or two around there and we've got some posts to put in there, so we'll do that in a second and then uh, and that's that's the reservoir done. I might put a oops, I might put another feeder over there with my little barrel feeders, you know, over there so it splits the feed up between between the two banks. Otherwise you find a lot of geese and duck will all be squabbling over this one feeder. But uh, anyway, okay, onwards and upwards. You're right, so like I say, that's set up now, which is good with the wire around it. Um, and like I say, uh, the good thing about this is you put your timer in there, it feeds it uh, at certain times. Whereas before, if you do use your your hopper feeders, which I, you know, sort of these feeders, then what happens is everything nicks it, everything nicks the feed. Whereas you can set these up to come on at uh, sort of eight o'clock in the evening, and just when your when your geese and duck are coming in, and, uh, and like I say, they don't like disturbance. So uh, there's no, you know, obviously when the nights start drawing in, which is obviously a couple of months away, but when the nights start drawing in, this has been this will feed automatically at four o'clock or whatever time you want to set them in. So nothing's nicking your your wheat during the day. It just feeds exactly what you want it to feed at the times. So yeah, good idea. Ready, 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 and now. Shot. Good lad. Right, really quick. Quick, quick, quick. Oak, let it come around, let it come around. Let it come around, right. And now. Shot. Come, that's it. Right, let them lock in. And again. Ooh. Nearly a left and right, mate, wasn't it? Close. Jack. Yep. Incoming. Right and left there, Jack. Right and left there. Right, that's the end of our gamekeeping come shooting day. We did get on the field. We had, uh, had you know, some good shooting here, really. Again, I think Jack shot four odd birds. I've shot four birds as well. Right and left at Crow. Um, it's not about the amount you shoot. It's about the marksmanship and it's about the quality of shots. I can't stress that more. But um, you know, your red letter days are great when you shoot 50 plus pigeons, but uh, you know, it's nice to be on the on the money generally. But um, but good. Also, we I don't know what happened today, it's a bit, a bit of a weird day. We forgot our ear defenders. So what you do is a little tip there. If you haven't got any ear defenders, just get a bit of tissue paper, roll them up, and then all you've got there is you make like a little like a bung there and it's not as good but you must always wear hearing protection and uh, that should work quite well to be honest with you anyway that's it for us today thank you very much for watching i'm hoping some of this this head cam business come out today i know jack had some good shots there uh yeah like i say thanks for watching stay tuned lots going on as normal uh see you later all right just a quick one a lot of these crows we're shooting now have got the uh, the white wings. So I don't know where they're cross cross breeding here or something's going wrong that I don't know about. But um, it's quite strange. Uh, it's like a, a crow come uh, crow mag uh, come magpie, isn't it, Jack? Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, that's it. One more.